So when I think back about tea in, in my life, it was always there. Um, and so when I was a kid, as I, as, uh, what I remember is that, uh, as I think back about it, what I remember is that um, my parents would always get up every morning and make a pitcher of tea. But here's how they made tea. They put water into a, uh, a pitcher and they boil that water in the pitcher. Um, once it's steamed, then they put in, they took it off the, the, the hot um, plate and they put it on, um, they put it on something else, let it cool a little bit, and then they put usually two bags of tea into the, um, into the pitcher. They made that tea in the same pitcher throughout my entire life. They literally did not have another tea pitcher um, in, 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 their, in, in my entire existence in that home and even afterwards. And when my uh, dad actually moved out of his home, I actually got that tea pitcher. So I have it to this day. It's, one of the, it's the one I actually use to make tea in uh, to this day because it reminds me of them, obviously. I spent a lot of my uh, early years and my teenage years uh, being angry with my dad, right? Being unhappy with my dad, arguing with my dad. We were very similar, very stubborn, and that made us easily argue with one another. But I never, in all those arguments, I never thought ultimately that he didn't love me. I knew he loved me. He told me he'd love me every Saturday morning by playing a Glenn Miller Orchestra album. I still know those songs to this day. And um, by wrestling with me every Saturday morning. And then, this is the most important thing they would do, frankly, they would pull the uh, bags out and then they would put two huge scoops. And I never knew what those scoops were. They didn't have a measuring thing. I didn't know what it was, but it was fairly large. I knew that. Two huge scoops of sugar into the tea, fairly small container, and stir it up. And when they stirred it up, it was done. Right? And what it made was really, really thick, syrupy, uh, very, very sweet tea. When I was a kid, that was just called tea. And where we lived in the South, that was the only kind of tea there was as far as we knew. So that's what I remember about making the process of making tea.